This is a WLSN cross country report from Greenville, Ohio, one of the favorite meets of the year for Lancer fans. Uh, it's a beautiful park setting here in Greenville, Ohio. It's got lakes, uh, a swinging bridge, and uh, there's just nothing to, to not like about it. How do you think the meet went today, Coach Russo? I thought we accomplished every goal that we set out to, which was number one, to improve and progress as a team overall, number one, and secondly is to come in and win. And we've, we realized that we were going to face Moeller, which is an outstanding team. Vandalia Butler showed up ready and prepared to compete. And um, we were challenged early and often in the race. Our guys responded. We came up big in the end. Uh, historically, we've won this meet. And so uh, big day day for us. And uh, it's been, I think, two years since we've won an Invitational. So uh, we came out of here with a lot of confidence in ourselves and ready to move on the next week. That's great. Uh, this is the second meet of the year. Uh, I know last year, last week there were a lot of personal best times already. I isn't that abnormal? And obviously, the freshmen they come in; it's their first first meet they've ever run. But for you know the experienced runners to have that many personal bests in the first meet of the year, uh, because you, you normally think that in a cross country season, the runners try and get to their best times at the end of the season. So their best se their, you know, their best times of this season are still to come. Uh, are you surprised by seeing how many of the experienced runners have already PR'd? Well, that kind of get, indicates just how young we are. So uh, a lot of these guys had a, were very inexperienced last year, but it also shows just how hard we've worked over the summer uh, and how prepared these guys are. But, but again, there's a lot of upside to, to uh, our team overall and the progress, progress we're going to make over uh, the season and so uh, I've come out of here feeling really good with the fact that um, where we are in our training cycles at this point where we are physically and where we're gonna be at the end of the year are light years away and we came out of here like I said uh, with uh, a lot of success and a lot of progress and that's what we aim for each and every week. Last week you came in second to Elder so it was a 1-2 GCL sweep this week uh, we're number one and Moeller's number three. Uh, again, very strong. Uh, the GCL is a very strong cross country conference, is it not? The, the GCL is outstanding in every sport. You can, you, there's not one sport I don't think that uh, it's highly, you know, that, that it's not highly competitive in. So um, what it does is it, it prepares our guys um, for the championship season, which we like. So it's a, it's a really good indicator and barometer as to where, um, you know, where we are during the season and where we feel that uh, we could potentially be at the end of the year. So, um, yes, uh, great coaches in our league, uh, outstanding talent in our league, highly competitive, um, you know, athletes that train extremely hard. And as a result, your end result is a very deep and talented league. And so um, anytime you can win the league or anytime you can beat a team in the league in any sport, it really says quite a bit for uh, where you are uh, as a program. You've now seen your runners for two weeks, and, and I don't know after you've been practicing since the last Monday in June, so I don't know that surprise is really the word for it, but after seeing these runners for uh, two weeks, two meets, running against other opponents, not just uh, running against each other in practice, uh, are you pleasantly surprised with any of the performance of the runners? Are any of them uh, differentiating themselves in a way that you didn't anticipate? Well, I, you know, what I'm what I really like is the fact that as I look at our, our roster right now in our lineup, it's just laced with, with sophomores and juniors. And then, you know, Adam Klusner's done an outstanding job as a, as a leader in our program, really has stepped up in a mature manner and, and really exercised in tremendous leadership. But um, again, the, the uh, exciting thing about the program and, and what is the future of it. Um, a lot of these guys have not run before, and so um, they're going to continue to improve as they gain more and more race experience and how they are able to manage their race, uh, you know, in a 3.1 course. So uh, that being said, I'm really, really excited about the upcoming year. Yeah, we've had some huge surprises. Nick Wustefeld, for example, has never run before and is already in our top 10 and, and making tremendous strides. Uh, Jason Hanley had a big jump from last week's uh, race to this week. Uh, Devin Sherman is another who had an outstanding race today. Simon Wire got up and competed. Those guys uh, were in our lineup last year. And um, again, as a result of them feeling like that they didn't 
achieve what they expected or, or went out to achieve last week. They fell short of their goals. Uh, they really came in mentally prepared, physically uh, ready to, to compete at a high level today and executed. And they're a big reason as to why uh, we ended up winning today. Okay, so we've, we've now been through two meets. You got a second and a first. Next week, you move on to Mason Invitational. Uh, that's a little bit different kind of a meet than what you've already run so far. What are you anticipating next week in Mason? Well, what I'm going to look at um, from our team's perspective is where we were last year and uh, where we finish next week. Because I think that's where you find out where your growth is, where you could objectively assess um, you, you know, your team overall. And so uh, that being said, I think that from, from that perspective, I think that is, is how I've really got to approach it from a coaching perspective. Uh, I'm looking at our guys from a, an emotional aspect and a competitive spirit aspect of just, you know, where they position themselves early in the race, how they're able to compete throughout the race, move up throughout the race, and where they finish, if they're able to finish hard. So um, that's what we're looking for is an overall team effort um, that we go in with confidence, we compete hard, and that we finish um, among the leaders in that field. So. Uh, um, again, being a young team, we want to be objective, we want to be realistic uh, in our goals and our expectations, but we want to continue to grow each and every week. So I think Mason is going to provide us an opportunity to see a really high level meet. We're going to go back to back weeks with Mason and Michigan State being two of the elite meets uh, in the you know uh, Midwest region in America. And so um, that being said, um, our guys are going to gain valuable experience, race experience, and then also from that, like I said, we hope that that can help us prepare for the championship season later on. Next week, it's safe to say that they're going to see some really powerhouse competition. What, what caliber of team comes to Mason? Uh, Carmel usually traditionally comes up, and, and they're one of the best programs year in, year out, and they have been for, gosh, you know, for over three, four decades. Uh, have been a major powerhouse. Their their tradition runs deep. Um, they take the, their school and their community take great pride in their cross country program. And so a nationally recognized program that is not a flash in the pan. Um, they have, uh, you know, in terms of their roster, one of the largest in in the country. Um, you know, and they they exceed both. Uh, you know, their their uh, boys and their girls program over a hundred. So uh, and and. Those kids are, from a standpoint of being prepared, very deep. Um, there is a, what you can see is a tremendous uh, competitiveness among their team uh, that they're vying for that top seven. Um, and so uh, that comes with a tradition, that comes with uh, being socialized into the program and a community spirit that embraces um, that particular sport. And they've, they've done a great job. So Carmel is usually the class of the field there. Mason has continued to improve each and every year, and you got the best of the best in Cincinnati. St. X usually splits up uh, their program and goes up to Tiffin as well. So we'll get a, we'll be tested, and I believe Elder will be there too. Uh, but we'll, we will be tested uh, not only on a local level, but um, from some some national powers as well. Coach Russo, thank you very much. I, I hope to make this a regular, if not weekly, uh, event for WLSN, having some sort of commentary. And maybe we can, uh, for those that aren't familiar with the science behind cross country, explain a little bit about it. It's just, uh, it's a thinking person's sport. They gotta be smart when they run this. It's not just one of those things where they go out and, and muscle doesn't get it all done. You gotta be smart about it. And uh, maybe that's a complete segment in and of itself. So that's it from WLSN, where we've uh, just taken first place at Greenville with 70 points. Second was Vandalia Butler with 81 points and Big Mo with 87 in third place.